this the divine word in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen dear jesus divine word made flesh from the beginning you already were before even time began you are son and with the father and the holy spirit three persons one god but in the fullness of time you who created man became man yourself through god the holy spirit and mary you became jesus divine word made flesh you came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love here after dear jesus divine word incarnate please teach us to follow you may our love for you always be made flesh not ever lost in word or song alone in prayer we come face to face with you like you with the father and the holy spirit in love and service may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers the least of them most of all for as we treat each other so do we treat you in your name we pray now always and in always amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen blessed day to you all sisters and brothers and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the diocesan shrine of jesus the divine word in christ the king mission seminary we are we are on the tuesday of the first week in ordinary time our mass presider today is reverend father louis punzalan svd our celebration will now begin In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in the gospel for today, we will listen to a story of healing. It is a miracle of healing. A man with an unclean spirit comes to Jesus, and Jesus heals him. During these days, many people, especially in the Philippines, are getting sick. We have to take care of our health because, as we say, health is wealth. In our Mass today, we will pray for our brothers and sisters and members of our families who are sick. 
we will take the votive mass for the sick. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that our infirmities be borne by your only begotten Son to show the value of human suffering, listen in kindness to our prayers for our brothers and sisters who are sick. Grant that all who are oppressed by pain, distress, or other afflictions may know that they are chosen among those proclaimed blessed and are united to Christ in His suffering for the salvation of the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Hannah rose after a meal at Shiloh and presented herself before the Lord. At the time, Eli the priest was sitting on a chair near the doorstep of the Lord's temple. In her bitterness, she prayed to the Lord, weeping copiously, and she made a vow, promising, O Lord of hosts, if you look with pity on the misery of your handmaid, if you remember me and do not forget me, if you give your handmaid a male child, I will give him to the Lord for as long as he lives. Neither wine nor liquor shall he drink, and no razor shall ever touch his head. As she remained long at prayer before the Lord, Eli watched her mouth, for Hannah was praying silently. Though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli, thinking her drunk, said to her, How long will you make a drunken show of yourself? Sober up from your wine. It isn't that, my Lord, Hannah answered. I am an unhappy woman. I have had neither wine nor liquor. I was only pouring out my troubles to the Lord. Do not think your handmaid a never do well. My prayer has been prompted by my deep sorrow and misery. Eli said, Go in peace and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She replied, Think kindly of your maidservant and left. She went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and no longer appeared downcast. Early the next morning, they worshipped before the Lord, and then returned to their home in Ramah. When Elkanah had relations with his wife, Hannah, the Lord remembered her. She conceived that at the end of her term, bore a son, whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with the nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. 
my heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, because Jesus taught them as one having authority and not like the scribes. In the synagogue, there was a man with an unclean spirit. The man cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of the man. The unclean spirit convulsed the man and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and they asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and then they obey him. The fame of Jesus is spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. My dear friends in Christ, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hope everybody is safe and well, especially those who are attending, who are joining us in our Mass via live stream this morning. Especially our senior citizens like myself. Let us do our best to stay well. These are difficult times, not only for the Philippines, but for the whole world. The news is mostly depressing. The, mu the news usually makes us feeling uneasy and fidgety. As of yesterday, 33,000 people in the Philippines are sick. In Australia, the latest that I heard is 1 million people. In the United States, 60 million. In the whole world, 300 million. My dear brothers and sisters, these are really trying times for the whole humanity. That is why I thought that our Mass today will be a Mass for the sick especially if there are sick members of our families, especially if one or the other or the whole family is afflicted with COVID. I remember a passage in the Old Testament in the book of Isaiah that says, and very consolingly, Truly the Lord has borne our infirmities, and the Lord has carried our sorrows. My dear brothers and sisters, in moments of pain and sickness, 
we all need someone greater. In moments of pain and sickness, we need someone stronger than ourselves to help us get well. Sickness is God's way of telling us that life is fragile. Sickness is God's way of telling us and reminding us that life is temporary and that there are more important things in life. We all know that it is difficult to get sick. We all know the old saying, health is wealth. People even say that health is the best form of wealth. Health is better than wealth. But the best thing is, can you imagine, if you have both health and wealth, it is difficult if one gets sick. And in the Philippines, it is also expensive to get sick. I don't know if you are familiar with the most expensive bed in the world. Somebody said that the most expensive bed in the world is not in the most beautiful hotel. It is not in a five-star hotel. It is not in a seven-star hotel even. The most expensive bed in the world is the hospital bed. The hospital bed. Thank God because in the Philippines, we have excellent doctors and medical teams. I am talking about these things because... The gospel reading for today is actually a medical story. It is a story of healing. The man with an unclean spirit comes to Jesus and the Lord heals the man with a, an unclean spirit. Jesus drives away the unclean spirit. In our Mass today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for the same grace. Let us pray for the same request that Jesus, the best doctor in the world, will drive away the evil spirit of COVID, that Jesus, the best doctor in the world, will keep us healthy, safe, and well, that Jesus will also help the medical community that takes care of us, the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacies, the medical technologists, the nurses and the nursing aides and everybody who takes care of the sick. But most importantly, we take care of ourselves. Take care of yourself. Stay, stay fit. Stay well. Stay healthy. And today, I'd like to pray for one of our sponsors, one of our benefactors in a very special way. Her name is Rochelle. She is in Oman. I will not mention her family name anymore. She is in Oman. She is helping us. Today, she will go under the knife. Rochelle, we pray for you just as we pray for everybody else. We pray for the other sick members of our families and our community. May God, may Jesus, the best doctor, heal the world. Heal all of us and restore us to health and safety. Amen. Let us all stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. The response will be, God, truly powerful, touch us. God, truly powerful, touch us. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and com combat the evils of our time. We pray. God, truly powerful, touch us. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments 
and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. We pray. God, truly powerful, touch us, that we may not grow idle in their prayer lives so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. We pray. God, truly powerful, touch us, that the sick may be freed from their physical and spiritual infirmities. We pray. God, truly powerful, touch us, for the medical experts, scientists, and the researchers, that they may be able to continue to develop more effective and affordable vaccines for everyone as soon as possible, so that, so that everyone may be protected against contracting the virus, while those who are already infected will, will be healed and there will be no more further transmissions. We pray. God, truly powerful, touch us that the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. We pray. God, God truly, truly powerful, powerful, touch us. us. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are sick, that having been anxious for them in their danger, we may rejoice at their recovery of health through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Oh, 
sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitaasan. O sana, o sana, o sana sa You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more he gave you thanks, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in remembrance of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life, as well as the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world, especially our sick brothers and sisters, Rochelle Tarayao, Rosalina de la Cruz Francisco, Timothy John Garcia, and bring them to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servant, Darlene Madlambayan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the healing of the world. Our Father, who art who in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and deliver our country and our people and our families from other evils. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait for the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace and healing of the, wo the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet each other with a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. With you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the divine physician, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive him. Lord, Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, only support of our human weakness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. San Roque. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calungsod. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renatimitz. Magsiyopo po tayo sandali, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Saan mang kayong panik ng daigdig naroon, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some, some people who have been helping us, especially in promoting our seminarian education program. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong mga ipinapadalang tulong sa amin. I cannot mention all your names. I can only mention some, but God knows who you are. Si Marlo, si Carmen, I'll not mention your family name. Si Karen, si Consuelo, si Dodo, si Janice, si Beda. At uh, napakahalaga pa rin nitong mga nakaraang araw noong Sunday ay nakatanggap kami ng napakagandang Biyaya galing sa ating mga bagong tumutulong. They sent us some items that are essential for our seminarians. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mario and Arlene Relampagos, Andrew and Evelyn Alvarez, Dan and Pam Maliari, from the bottom of our hearts, Thank you for sending some very essential goods that our seminarians can use, especially because the second semester is about to start. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. At ipinapangako namin na patuloy namin kayong aalalahanin sa aming mga, mga panalangin. Gusto ko rin gamitin ang pagkakataong ito para patuloy na manawagan. Um, the seminary is resource constraint. Uh, we are begging, we are asking for, for your help, for your assistance. If you would like to send some help, we are flashing in front of you our, our bank account details with Banco de Oro, 
Banco de Oro and the account name is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. The account number is 000-220-191-247. 000-220-191-247. We also keep two GCash numbers which we are also flashing in front of you this morning but they get easily full in any case uh, you can still try to send your your help through our gcash numbers the numbers are 0967 318 9830 and 0945 743 0935 sana po wag kayong magsasawang tumulong sa amin lalong lalo na sa pag-aaral ng ating mga future priests SVD priests and SVD missionaries maraming maraming salamat po sa ngala ng aming Father Rector sa ngala naming lahat na SVD dito sa Christ the King taos puso sobra pa taos puso po ang aming walang hanggang pasasalamat and uh, I'd like to announce that our seminarians are back. The church is closed. Only our seminarians are attending the Mass today. But we know that there are many others, hundreds of others, who are attending our online Mass this morning and these days from different places, not only in the Philippines, but from other countries. So today we prayed for the sick members of our community. We will continue to take care of ourselves, stay fit, Stay well, stay healthy. God is the best doctor. Wag tayong mawawalan ng pag-asa. Amen. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to Christ the King. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore Him. In deepest reverence, we approach the glorious throne of our risen Lord and King, Jesus Christ, and offer Him the tribute of our homage and adoration. We adore and praise Him to whom the Eternal Father said, Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day star, like the Jew, I have begotten you. Of you it is written, a name was ri written on the part of the cloak that covered his thigh, King of kings and Lord of lords. Full authority has been given to you both in heaven and on earth. Therefore you have sent your disciples to make disciples of all the nations. With your blood you purchased for God peoples of every race and tongue 
of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Petitions Lord Jesus, you fled from the people who wished to take you by force and make you king. Yours is not an earthly kingdom, but one of justice and truth, mercy and love. Protect all who enjoy the blessings of your benign reign. Bless and enlighten our Holy Father, the bishops, priests, deacons, the missionaries and the religious men and women, that they may be witnesses to you in your gospel message, giving you courage and zeal to all who labor for the extension of your kingdom. O King of the universe, increase the number of priestly, religious, and missionary vocations so that your universal reign may be hastened by the power of your spirit, grant to all the faithful a zeal for the virtues of your sacred heart, and reign over all families with the fragrance of your peace. We beg you also to, to, to take with compassion on all who as yet do not recognize your gentle reign, especially those who have not known you yet. Bless all missionaries, especially the spiritual sons and daughters of St. Arnold Jansen, that they may, with one mind and heart, promote your glorious reign. In the silence of our hearts, let us present our needs and petitions to the merciful heart of Christ the King. May the Holy Triune God live in our hearts. And may the heart of Jesus live and reign in our hearts and the hearts of all people. Amen. <laughs> 